Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at cool effects inside Motion 5. Motion can be intimidating, but what I want to do today is to show you a whole lot of really easy-to-create effects that you can do in Motion that you can add to your projects now to make them look great. Let's get ourselves started. Today is like a cookbook. It's a collection of recipes on how to create effects inside Motion 5. I won't get really fancy. Instead, I'll concentrate on showing a variety of simple techniques that you can combine in various ways to create effects specific to your projects. I'll also show you how to create a generator project in Motion that can be used in Final Cut Pro 10. If you want an overall introduction to Motion 5, take a look at Webinar 57, An Introduction to Motion 5. For advanced Motion 5 topics, check out Webinar 60, Rigging Widgets and Wonders in Motion 5, or Webinar 80, Paths, Mats, and Masking in Motion 5. Here's some really useful keyboard shortcuts. F7 displays or hides the HUD. HUD stands for Heads Up Display. F5 displays or hides the Layers panel. F8 displays or hides the full screen display. Shift Z fits the entire project image into the viewer, while Option Z displays the entire product image at full size, even if it extends beyond the viewer. F8 toggles between displaying or hiding the player mode. And Option Command I or Option Command O set the play range in or out, and the play range relates to the mini timeline. Let's create a simple piece of text animation. So we're going to go down here, see this T, just as we expect that to be in Photoshop. That's our text typing tool. So we're going to call this Project Title. Bum, bum, bum. And then press the Enter key, and the Enter key then accepts that text. If you hit the Escape key, that cancels out without accepting the text. Now we can scale this by grabbing the low right corner and drag that up or stretch it by grabbing this and just totally ruining that typeface, poor thing. Or you could hold the shift key down. That scales it so that it keeps the same overall look and feel. In this case, I'm going to make it big enough that we can actually see what it looks like. Well, several things have happened at once. Notice that our text called Project Title, is displayed down here in the mini timeline. It starts at the very beginning and goes to the very end. If you press the spacebar or click this right pointing arrow, the text clip plays. Now, there's no animation associated with it, so we don't see anything happening. And notice that it continues looping over and over because this loop button over in the down right corner, which is blue, is turned on. So that's our loop button. If we don't want it to loop, uncheck it. If you want to blow it up full screen, that takes us to the full screen display. That's the same thing as pressing the F8 button. Brings us back down again to the standard layout. Press F6, press F5, and we're back to where we were. All right, I want to animate this. There's several different ways that we can move this text. They all start with the Behaviors menu, which is this gear down here. When you click it, there's the Basic Motion category. And the choices we have that allow things to move is Throw and Motion Path and Move. So let's just select Throw. Press the space bar and, but wait a minute, nothing's happening. We've applied a behavior, but we haven't told the behavior what we want it to do. The easiest way to do this is to press F7, which displays the HUD. This is the list of all the common things that you want to adjust within a selected clip. We can also access the HUD from the Window menu. Notice it says Hide HUD, and the keyboard shortcut is F7. All right, this is what we want to do to get this to move. Notice that my playhead, oops, turn on looping here. My playhead is playing, looping is turned on. I grab the center of the HUD and drag out, and that arrow says I'm going to move my text down right or move it up right. I want it to go faster, make a bigger arrow. I want it to go slower, make a slower, a smaller arrow. Drag this in the direction you want stuff to move. This red line is called a motion path, and the center of the motion path, which is right off the left edge of the first letter, is going to start up here and over the duration of the clip, as if this runs the full length, the, the word is going to slowly move down right. 
and the speed and direction is based upon the arrow. The nice thing about throw is that it's easy to use. It gets something to move, and sometimes that's all you want. You don't need a specific movement. It doesn't have to start somewhere and end somewhere. It just needs to move. Throw is perfect for that. Well, I'm going to highlight the word throw down here. That's the effect. Hit the delete key, and I just deleted the effect. We're back to the text again. If you're looking for ways to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. This means you've got access to more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth, all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering cool effects inside Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz store and look for Webinar 94. Thanks.